guys, it's me, Brooke. This is a sideways video because I needed somewhere to put my phone and charge it at the same time. Um, I'm wearing a beanie because it's winter time. And this is my makeup from earlier today. I have not touched it up, not even the lipstick. So, I have a towel here because I'm gonna wash my brushes. I think I'm live on my page. Hi, Lauren. So, you guys, makeup brushes get like really gunky, okay? And it seems kind of stupid and silly to be doing right before my family gets here. But, like, gets here on a plane from Minnesota. Uh, but part of me being a good hostess is being a good you know, makeup daughter slash sister. So I'm gonna wash my brushes because they gotta be, they gotta be fresh. You know what I mean? Gotta be fresh. Hi, Uncle Jerry. Hi, Mary. How's everybody doing? So I'm gonna use Clean Act as long as I brought it in here. So this is Clean Act. This is a brush and sponge makeup tool cleaner. Um, it sanitizes your brushes, it conditions them, and obviously it shampoos them. It's in the name. Um, using young coconut milk. So that's super cool. Um, it's natural ingredients, safe for your brushes, safe for your skin, whatever. I'm going to read you whatever other ingredients are in it if I can find it. Oh, it's right on the back. So, um, vegan coconut purified water, natural coconut oil, palm oil, sea salt, sodium hydroxide, tea tree essential oil, sustainably sourced palm. So, hi, Auntie Sherry and Allie and... Angela, hello guys. Okay, I'm just gonna start washing my brushes. Um, I'm just gonna do a few for you like I usually do. And then I have my towel set up so that I can just put my brushes like this once they're done. Hopefully you can see that. So, like I said, wasn't planning to do this, but uh, gotta wash your brushes. Cause yeah, it's not gonna happen once they're here. So I gotta do it now. I was prepping the guest room. You know, it's still full of makeup. And yeah, so this is how we do it. Hopefully I can show you guys. So this is how I wash my brushes. I take my brush and I put it in the water. Hopefully you can see that. Hey, you guys see how gunky, not gunky, but it has foundation on it, you know. Hi, Vicky. And hi, Lindsay. It's so funny, you guys, when I'm, um, when I'm live, horizontal instead of vertical. Yeah, I said that right. Um, I can only see one person's name at a time, so I missed it. And then I scroll back. Hi, Meredith. So, put it in there. Then I put it in this, which is the Clean Act. And I kind of swirl it around a little bit, okay? So, this is what it's going to look like. Okay? And then all I do is take my brush. This is going to be a really bad camera angle. Hmm. Maybe down here. Come around. Oh, I just take this and look at that. It's already like almost white. All I do is run it in my hand or if you have like one of those like little sponge thingies, you can put it in there. And then if it's if it's white, if it's good to go, um, you can be done. Or see how there's like a little bit of foundation left in there? So I'm just gonna run it in there. Again, same thing. Because you really just wanna make sure to get all that product out, okay? I can run it, I can go like this, kind of squeeze it around in there. I didn't even put a title on this video, so everyone's probably popping on like, what the heck is this video about? Washing brushes! So it's way quicker if I do this um, off of live, but yeah, I'm doing just like warm water, nothing crazy. Basically like, think of your brushes as sensitive as your face. You know, you don't wash your face with super cold water or super hot water, so that's the brush. Bada bing, bada boom, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. So then I'm just going to lay my brushes, I'll show you. Breathe, breathe, okay? I'm just gonna lay my brushes down like that. So they're kind of, um, I don't know, I sometimes roll this more. I don't know, it's tricky, but you want it to be like angled down so that the glue that is in here is not gonna get all like moist. I know everybody loves that word, right? But you want the glue to not be uh, moist <laughs> and not get wet so that it doesn't, um, you know, you don't want that to loosen up and come apart. So that's a way to take care of your brushes, especially if you have nice brushes. Um, you really want to make sure to get them like flowing the water out downwards. Um, if it's a double-sided brush, you just kind of got to take the loss, I guess. But most of them, you know, I just kind of get it up so they can go like this. This is the brush 
like this, okay? Um, I am gonna wash one more thing for you guys, and that is my handy dandy blenderful. I've been a little rough on this guy. I really should get a new one. But if you take care of them, they're awesome. And I, you know, it still looks good when I do it on my face. So I'm like, whatever. Okay. Same thing though. Bring you guys back down. I cannot believe how well my phone is staying right there. Whoa, that's too chilly. Hello. Hello. Okay. So I'm just going to take my, okay, 10. All right. Take my blenderful. It's covered in stuff and then just put that in here too okay and this works on you know whatever makeup tools you need and so what I'm gonna do is just work it ooh, work it through there good thing I cleaned the sink yesterday right okay I'm just gonna work it through there squeeze it out just work it through and so you can see you can see um, hopefully here let me just switch you guys around uh, rotate your phone bossy Facebook Whoops. As I squeeze it out, you can see the product just coming straight out of it. Woohoo! I really got to take my nails. Oh my goodness. Maybe that's something we can do in this year. So, I'm just going to keep. Let's see. So, I just repeat. Until it runs clear, basically. Make sure that, this is the hardest part too, getting those creases because I kind of stick it in there, you know, really good when I do it. So, just gotta work it into those corners. Like, look at though, you can see the foundation is on my hand. Squish! I'm trying to show you guys, sorry. Squish, squish, squish. All right, so look at that. Still holy, but nice and white. I mean yellow. <laughs> and then this, of course, is my eyeliner stain. But yeah, gives you the gist of how to wash your brushes. Basically, whenever I wash my brushes, or most of the time, I do a video for to show you guys because these are precious products. You don't want to waste them. And speaking of not wanting to waste them, um, Allie, my friend Allie, is the soap queen. And she taught me that you need to cure your soap. So what you do is instead of like putting the cap on this and letting it dry or letting your soap dry in the shower, you take it out um, and let it dry, um, you know, like like sideways, um, it will cure the soap so that it becomes nice and dry and hard so that it will last longer. So that's what I'm gonna do with this, especially since it's wet, I want it to drain all out. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side once I'm done, but like I said, I have to wash all my brushes, so many brushes. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Hope you're having a fantastic night. I'm doing like yoga poses right now or something while I'm doing this. Who knows, I'm excited for my family to be here. Doesn't seem real. So um, yeah. Have a great night. Be blessed. Let me know if you have any questions. And hopefully I'll be on um, tomorrow with my sister or something like that. Maybe soon um, to talk about the fundraiser that I'm going to do. So have a good night. See you later. And I know it's probably afternoon where some of you are, but whatever. <laughs>